Hey everyone, this is Rich Daisley, Director of Accounting and Auditing Content with Surgeon Professional Education. I just want to take a couple moments to talk to you about a couple of hot topics with regard to the implementation of Topic 606, Revenue from Contracts with Customers. I know a lot of companies are knee-deep in their implementation efforts right now with the implementation date coming effective January 1st, 2018 for public companies and one year later for private companies. But here's a couple things that uh, we want to make sure that you consider and bake into your implementation plan. First of all, I just saw the results of a recent survey that said that upwards of 50% of companies are still undecided as to whether they're going to do the full or modified retrospective uh, approach to adopting Topic 606. Uh, quite frankly, if you haven't decided which approach to go with by now, uh, you're getting pretty late in the game to make that decision because the, the decision of an implementation approach is really going to dictate how much work you have to do before as well as after the effective date of Topic 606. So if you're one of those companies that are still debating what to do, I think the time is, is ripe to make that decision as quickly as possible and whatever you decide, make sure that you modify your work plan accordingly. The second thing to consider with regard to 606 is don't forget about the significant new disclosure requirements that are going to be required of all companies. While it is true that private companies uh, will only have to disclose some information qualitatively as opposed to quantitatively, both public and private companies are going to see a significant increase in their disclosure requirements under 606. So here's a couple things to think about with regard to uh, disclosures. Uh, the first thing is remember that all disclosures will be required for the first accounting period in which you report under Topic 606. So for public companies that are adopting as of January 1, 2018, this means for your quarter ended March 31st, 2018, you're going to be required to make all of the disclosures that are required under Topic 606. The issue isn't quite as significant for private companies, but remember that first year end that you report under Topic 606, you'll be required to make all those disclosures as well. The second thing with regard to disclosures to remember is that you really have to know the source of the information. As we've been saying, there's a lot of new and more detailed disclosures that are going to be required, and it's really important to understand where that information is going to come from your accounting systems. The third thing to think about with the implementation of 606 is remember that as you come up and implement the new standard, you're going to have new business processes as well as new internal controls. So it's really important to document as you go. A lot of times as you're making these implementation decisions, you're making uh, decisions of, about how to apply the standard on the fly. In order to remember those decisions as well as to adequately document them, it's best to document as you go. And don't forget the internal control implications of these new processes as well. All of these new business processes are going to need to be subject to a strong system of internal controls. So whether you report under Sarbanes-Oxley as a public company or whether you just want to have strong internal controls as a private company, remember that your documentation of the process as well as your controls is going to be critical to an effective implementation. So while there's a lot of things to consider as you wrap up your implementation, hopefully these three topics are something that uh, you can make sure that you bring to the table and help assure that your implementation plan is successful. Mm -hmm.